Tis a wild mallard in no natural habitat. No way. Although, I will say it is nice. There's something we've never checked out before, the Tree of Life Garden. That frog's got a lot of moss. Oh, what are these plants, huh? I don't know, but I like those flowers. Obviously, we're in Animal Kingdom today. And... Is that agave? You tell me, is that that thing right there? Is that agave? Alright, it's it's hard to make out, but that guy that looks like a giant vulture, condor maybe. He's cleaning himself. His head there, there's his head. How you doing, buddy? This is a great little perspective right here in this area of the park because you got this nice little walking tour, and it's right at the base of the tree itself. Hi! I always assumed all the animals that are hidden on the tree are on the tree itself, but it looks like, I guess the roots count as well, because you can see some animals, uh, like an elk or something, in the root there. There's a walrus up here. There's, what are you, uh, gazelle? I guess. Yeah. And it just, there's bird, man, I've, why have we never done this before? Wanted to do rides. Yeah, we've always wanted to go on attractions and everything, but wow. First off, what the heck is everyone? <laughs> this is unusual. I've never been this close to the tree, actually, aside from being in the uh, the show area for the bug show. Oh, yeah, that's really cool. If you've never seen this before, all the animals that are etched into the side of the tree. Up there, it looks like uh, an alligator on the edge. Uh, this tentacle right here, that's an octopus more than likely. I can't see the head of it. Man, there's... They said you could look at this thing for days. Oh, look at the eagle! Have you ever noticed the eagle? Oh. Wow! I haven't seen the tiger. The tiger? Where's the tiger? Right up in the kind of the middle. Oh, oh, he's hanging like, yeah. You, know, you can see it's and the there's top a of his head. Above yeah. Oh, that's so cool. There's even a squirrel. Here's a better shot of that eagle I was looking at. And there's, you can see a dolphin up here. Camel. There's a, where is the, where's the camel? Next to the eagle. Oh, right under the, uh, the dolphin next to the eagle. Yeah, there's a camel. Oh my goodness. Look what we got here. We saw a lot of these at uh, Bell, at uh, Luke Gardens. They're, what are they, bellflowers? Yeah. Bellflowers, okay. Pizza Fari used to be one of our favorite locations until they took something off the menu, but currently it's a relaxation station now, so no cheap pizza for you. Tell me, have you ever blessed the rains down there before? Sorry, bad joke. So this is one of the streams where you're going to see character boats come down. Oh man, that is a nice breeze. And that's a great view of uh, Everest over there too. It's a really lovely day today. Kind of humid but it's also Animal Kingdom. When is it not humid here? 25 minutes for the safari? Yeah, we could do that standing on our head. Actually, I don't want to stand on my head for 25 minutes, but we could stand in line, that's for sure. 25 minutes? No, probably more like 10. We basically walked through the queue line. We didn't stop at all. So yeah, the, uh, the, the wait times are exaggerated a bit. Elephant every single day at that right there, not gonna be around for much longer. Um, where are we exactly? Like, in the uh, refreshment area. Yeah, we're, we're over by the area where they, the, the, the food stands that they only open. I'm in the dark. <laughs> it's the food stands that they only have open on the weekend. And I guess that's, what am I, oh, that's the train over to the Spar, or the, um, the Rafiki train. So again, yeah, this is a nice little quiet area on this. Uh, we're, today's a Friday and I'm surprised it's not as packed as the place is it's kind of nice and empty so this is a good little pocket to hang out if you need a little break so we decided to get some grapes and a simba pretzel 
heavy on the salts with the plastic cheese, of course. So we're gonna take a little break. Then we're gonna do the Gorilla Jungle Trek. Yeah. Jungle Trek time. And this uh, little bird sanctuary. Hey, buddy, how you doing? Showing off of the camera. He's pretty. These little round nests that are all over the place. This guy's just showing off for me. Come on, give me the goods. Yeah. Aw. These two were fighting a second ago. I guess it was territorial. Turf war. Nest war. Look at all the fishies. I don't know why they turned into an eight-year-old. They're pretty, though. I can't believe how active this place is with the birds. I've never seen it this active before. Oh, did you see that? <laughs> one, one bird was building in the nest over here. Another one just flew in, grabbed the grass it was working on, and flew off. Oh, that's cool. They, they're pulling from the palm leaves to make their nest. I was wondering how they do that. Last time we heard there was a baby gorilla when we came, we never got to see it. It kind of stayed hidden the entire time. So I'm hoping with this queue line that they have assembled that we get to see it today. It'd be pretty cool. So that is a mom or an aunt or something, but there's there's a kind of a newborn hanging right there. Oh my god, so freaking cute. There Little guy's right in front of us. He looks like he's like three, three and a half feet tall. He's playing with his brother, I assume. And out here is where they keep the dads, all the bachelors, all the bros. Because, you know, they could crush the kids if they felt like it. Oh, here somewhere. Oh, I forgot how much this bridge sways. There's dad. Out for a stroll. We hear them coming. The drums are on their way. The drums, I hear the drums of war. Gorillas are always cool, man. They're so cool. And oh, that little little baby guy, he was, he, he was adorable. And I thought with the uh, the social distancing, it'd be a little harder to see. It was actually a lot easier because people, you know, were had to move out of the way. We each and, had our separate dots. Yeah, so it actually made it easier for us to see him compared to previously where you would just like have to stand and wait for this one guy who's standing there for like 10 minutes, not moving. All right, so now we're going into Asia. Gibbons! I love the gibbons. They're so cool. Now what is it? The brown one is like the matriarch? Is that it? Yeah, I can't remember myself. Tell us in the comments. Tiger truck, tiger truck. Going on and hopefully don't get mauled. Stick our heads. Oh, there we go. Yeah. There it is. Oh wow. Is that them? Yeah. 
Oh wow, they're huge. There's another one behind the tree. Yeah, happy Halloween. Another little bird sanctuary. Hey there, buddy. Is this uh, related to the peacocks? Nope. No. No. Pigeon. Oh, pigeon. pigeon. They look like peacocks, kind of. Same color. They are building a nest somewhere. <laughs> it's a secret nest. <laughs> This pretty guy. I assume it's a male. Found a little bench in the bird area. It's a really good, I guess, another pocket to just sit, people watch, bird watch. Real peaceful area. I've seen these before in nature shows. I can't remember what they're called, but little black birds with green, a couple green feathers, red eyes. And really hard to get a focus on, apparently. This guy's just getting a drink. wonder how often people try and pet these birds. He's, he's right in front of me. I could just reach down and pet him if I wanted to. But I'm not going to. So I'm not that kind of guy. Why are you drinking the dirty water over here when you got fresh water over there, bud? There's a bunch of birds over there. Check out these uh, dove pigeons. They're, they're bigger than pigeons. Slightly bigger, but they're gorgeous. Look at this guy, he's beautiful. Whoa, and apparently temperamental. I don't know about you, but Animal Kingdom is without a doubt the most peaceful park to just walk and yes. people watch. I mean, Epcot has a couple of places where it's nice to sit down and people watch like at the land, but Animal Kingdom is just the absolute best for that. I love Animal Kingdom for that, for that feature alone. You getting hungry? I'm getting hungry. I feel like having some yak and yeti. Yak and yeti? Yak and yeti. Yak and yeti. Why are we talking like this? That's you talking. That's just me talking like this, because I'm an idiot. So here is the menu for yak and yeti. There's some new items on here, I've been told. Definitely looking forward to trying out. Oh, at least something. I love Yak and Yeti, everything about it. It's so, so wonderful. All right, so just as a little reference, wherever you see this little chopstick, that's a signature item. And some of the signature items are what's brand new to the menu. So Alicia, what, you were wanting to try the, uh, the rib special? Well, the rib that she said that's not even on the menu. Yeah, we, we need to ask them more about that. But you're also looking at the, the, the duck under the specialties. Roasted half duck, jasmine rice. That sounds pretty good. I might go with the chicken tikka mars uh, masala. Yeah. yeah, that looks pretty good too. Alright, to start off, we're getting some pot stickers. And usually they give us chopsticks. We don't have any. I'm gonna I'm gonna ask for some if they still do it. I'm also I'm also gonna get some sake at some point. I'm gonna start with this Shochiku Bai Sake which it looks like they'll warm it for you if you ask them, and this apple flavored sake. I'm gonna try that as well. Both of those are gonna confirm I'm a raging alcoholic. It's funny I mentioned I'm a raging alcoholic and then my pink Himalayan shows up. This is a Tangeri Jim red, ruby red grapefruit juice, passion fruit, lemongrass flavors, and I don't, I don't usually get the salt rim. I forgot to ask them not to do that. So it's kind of like a margarita. The great thing about this is some of the proceeds are going to go to breast cancer awareness. So, hey, I'm helping boobies by drinking heavily. Yeah. All right, so here we go. This is the chicken marsala that I ordered. It's uh, just swimming in this red sauce. They gave me some side bread and jasmine rice. It's really good. And over there, Alicia got an item that's not actually on the menu. It's the ribeye comes with seasonal vegetables and potato. And Han, what, how does that look so far to you? 
Very good. Awesome. Again, this is an item you, it's off menu, and it's kind of like a specialty item. You gotta ask for it, but they, they will tell you about it when you come in. So these, these plates look really good. They smell really even better, so I'm gonna dive in. I'm salivating. This is one of the reasons why we love Yak and Yeti. The, the food is always so, so good. I've nearly polished off the masala, not marsala. I can't help pronouncing it that way. And Alicia, how would you give your steak on a scale to one to 10? <laughs> You'd give it a giggle? Yeah, you got a giggle. Yeah, a nine out of 10. All right. And what are these? So we, I decided, as you saw earlier, I was gonna order a couple of sakis. This one is the show sake. It's been warmed. And this is the apple sake. Um, yeah, we're gonna down these and see how we do. All right, so this is the show sake. Nice little glass. It does have a smell to it, but it's... We honor you, Yakageti, for your that damn good. Oh wow, that's very warm. Oh, that's good stuff. That's really good. Okay, now... Apple. The apple. Go from warm to chilled. I, I just want to say something else. It's like Ziggy Saki, but let's not do that. Oh, that's nice and sweet. I'm going to get in trouble for drinking that. Good stuff. Oh, don't. Oh. Yes, I'm an alcoholic. <laughs> right, we decided. Well, first off, we my camera decided not to be in focus. <laughs> we decided. We're going to do the safari. Oh my god, I am really out of focus. We are going to do the safari one more time. Just because, first off, you get a different experience every time you're on it. Some animals could be roaming around, some could be lying around. <laughs> lying. <laughs> but you, you, it, it really is, it's a different experience every single time you get on. And our first driver, she sounded like she was falling asleep at the wheel. She with sing song talking and like I think she had notes that she was looking down at. She might even know. I don't know. We don't know. Fishing lines and jewelry. So while you are here in Africa, please be aware of what you're buying. But we're gonna try it again and see uh, what kind of driver we get. I wonder if that one's even real. It always seems to have the pink on it. So that is gonna do it for another trip. This time to Animal Kingdom. Actually, that's been a while since we've been there too, hasn't it? Yes, it has been. So guys, thank you so much for watching. Go ahead, like, subscribe. You know the whole deal to do. And I just wanna say thank you to everyone who watches. You guys are basically the backbone, the lifeblood, the plasma <laughs> of this channel. Thank you so much for tuning out my goofy adventures and my horrible, horrible cinematography work. But. Go ahead, check out next time. I don't know what we're gonna do next time. Maybe another trip to Epcot, maybe. Maybe something around the state of Florida, we don't know. But again, thanks for tuning in, guys. Thank you. That sucked. <laughs>